Oh shit, this is her. <laughs> ah, what is going on, you guys? It is Baxter, and we are back with another death battle. And no, I have not seen this one yet. <laughs> I guess like the last one or two death battles I've done, I've already done before. I just don't remember them at all. So this time, this time I actually decided to go back and look at what I've watched and what I haven't watched. So, whew, that being said, we are doing Zuko versus Shoto Toroki. Now, um, I don't really know. I'm, I'm going for Todoroki. 100% My Hero Academia. We're going for Todoroki. Zuko, no idea who that is. Um, I, I honestly, I've never watched Avatar. I've seen episodes here and there, but I haven't actually watched from like episode one till the very end. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. It's, I don't know how to put it. I, I, I don't know. I just was never an Avatar fan. Like, I have nothing against it. It's just, like, I don't know. There's, it's something about it. Like, um, fuck, yeah. I, I don't even know. I I don't know. I've just never been that big of an Avatar fan. I, I got a couple buddies that have just watched it and fucking love it. But, eh, like, I don't know. It seems more to me of, like, a, like a cartoon. Like, that wasn't... You can tell when an anime is made in Japan, edited in Japan, and cartoons or anime that you want to say that are North American made. Now, I don't know for sure. Maybe I should have done research before, but I feel like Avatar is more of an American style cartoon than it actually is uh, an anime. Like Naruto, for example. It just, I don't know. May maybe I'm just coming off as a hater. I got nothing against it, but it, a small part, I guess you could say, of why I haven't watched it is because of that. I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. I, whatever. I'm just rambling on about how Avatar is only half decent for me. So, um... All of that being said, I don't know who Zuko is. I don't even... Play the... Look at the picture. Oh! I K. Okay. okay. I know who that is. I don't know, like, his character in the show or what... Let's just start this. I'm rambling on too much. Let's just start this. I'm going for Todoroki. Obviously, uh, Zuko is fire. But something's going to come down to Todoroki being able to use ice. Miller Lite. Miller Lite is not a good beer, honestly. Like, it's... Yeah. Like, Coors Light is way better than Miller Lite. Oh my god. <laughs> Spike. This guy. He. Oh shit, he can use swords too. Oh fuck. Okay. 
Let's see. He's 91? Aang would fucking destroy him. So bad. Caught lightning. How do you catch lightning? Again, guys, I don't want to come off as like an like an avatar hater, okay? Like I have nothing against it, like so. I thought he was a bad guy. Like good and he turned evil.
English dub, man. Welcome to a world where the supernatural is natural. Where more than 80% of the population possesses supernatural abilities known as portals. And because everyone loves to game a system, there's a superhero leaderboard. At the very top of it stands the ultimate hero, All Might. All Might's feats and reputation were incredible. A true symbol of beast for everyone. That is, everyone except the hero perpetually stuck at rank number two. Endeavor. Boiling water on the face. Shulta! <laughs> when he uses his firepower? Yes, such a sick fight. <laughs> this fight was nasty. He gives off that vibe kind of like a Shikamaru type character. Obviously not as smart, I guess, but...
Okay. I'm going for Shoto. But I feel like Zuko is going to take this one. He's older. He has more experience. And it... it Zuko, I guess, has more control over his fire. Like they were saying, once uh, the ice or fire leaves Todoroki, he doesn't like have control over it anymore. But he's very precise of where to hit and like what to do, right? And uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Like it's hard. I. I have Shoto. I want Shoto, but I think like I I have a feeling they're gonna have Zuko winning this. Like the ice at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna have much effect on this fight. I don't know. Like Or was he, was he, or is he a kid, but he was 91 at the end of the series? Or at some point, because he can't be a kid and be 91. Which makes me retract that experience statement. Throws Zuko, yeah, and then he's gonna come out of the ice. No, it's not. He can only use his ice to block it. Yo, I totally underestimated Todoroki, big time. And I under, un, underestimated that ice as well.
That was sick. And there was no ice bending in Avatar. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I totally underestimated Todoroki. Totally underestimated Todoroki. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's fucking sick. Thank God, man. And yeah, and w when they said Zuko was 91 years old, I thought... Like, you know, when I watched the the Hulk versus Broly death, death battle, one of the things that came into... Um, that came into... Um, what's the fucking word? came into play, I guess you could say, was Broly's experience. Battle experience, and he's older, right? So when they said Zuko, 91 years old, I mean, the experience is there, the fire. The experience was there, and I felt like since he had more control over the fire, I totally, totally underestimated Todoroki's fire as well. Like I said, once it leaves his body, he has no control over it. But he's smart and he knows what he's do Like when he shoots it out of him, obviously he knows he can't control it as well as before anyways. But he's very precise in where he shoots it and what he's going to do with it. And I totally didn't even think that regardless of the heat, a, yeah, like they said in this, a glacier-sized piece of ice, you're not just going to melt it right away, right? It's seemed like uh, for some parts I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shulto! <laughs> like it if you did like it, guys. Subscribe. And uh, I will be back with some more One Punch Man and possibly another death battle tomorrow. So uh, I will see you guys soon. Peace.